Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here again from HolsingersFlyShop.com uh, Bringing you a real simple pattern again today This is a Case Caddis Mop Fly That's right, we're tying with a mop again um, Just a real simple pattern This pattern actually was introduced to me by um, Pastor Jason Myers A friend of ours that goes fishing with us And he wanted me to, he saw it on a Facebook post Wanted me to figure it out and tell him how to tie it So here you go Jason uh, what we're going to start out with is a size 12 Daiichi 1516, 1560 um, wet fly hook, nymph hook, and um, we're going to use a black bead. The bead I'm using here is a 1 8 diameter black bead, cyclops bead. Use tungsten if you have it, it'll get down faster. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of lead wire on here to get it down even faster. And I'm just going to wrap about um, 0.015, you know, about 10, 12 times, whatever. Just cover the hook, and then we're going to shove it up inside, up inside the bead to hold the bead in place. So we can just get that wrapped up there, press it up in, hold the bead in place, like I said, and um, finish wrapping that on real quick. <clears throat> Next thing I'm using is some black 140 denier ultra thread. Of course, I've been using this one for a little while, so it's all beat up. Um, just going to tie that on there. We're going to cover down our lead with that. There we go. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the mop on. Um, I didn't really find any brown mops. We had some tan colored mops. And... What this is going to be imitating is a case caddis. And, well, for starters here, I'm going to tie this on and I'm going to be about the length of the hook. Okay? That's about how much of the mop I want to use. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to pull off the fibers at the front so I can get the threads. You see the threads that it's all tied into? Pull that back. That's going to be what I use to tie down. So I'm going to come back here to the bend of the hook. Where, this is where we're going to tie it down. And just tie that down good. It's not going anywhere. Now what I was saying is I have this tan color. I don't have any brown. But if you look at a real case caddis, a case caddis will actually build its nest. This is the nest actually that the caddis fly lives inside of. He actually builds it out of sticks and twigs and rocks and stuff like that. So it's not a true one all one color fly so what I'll do is I'll take this tan I like this tan and then I'll just take a brown marker and I'll just spot it up and I don't try to cover the whole thing I just dabble around it, at it get it on the ends of it here and um, I don't have a black marker real handy with me but what would probably look good is if you come back in and added some black to this too just to give it a more model color with a little bit different look you see how it's not all brown it's got some different colors just like it would be in nature so the next thing we're going to add on to it is a piece of chenille and I'm going to use a piece of chartreuse chenille if you have an olive an olive would work great but I just want something a little bit bright here I'm going to do the same thing with the chenille I'm going to pull it back a little bit to get those fibers you can see the fibers there that's going to give me something to tie down to and not make a thick body on my on the shank of the hook there so just going to tie that right back to the mop and then come up here to the bead and we're just going to wrap this chenille tight up against the mop and then the whole way up to the bead but we're going to stop just shy of the bead there you can you can see I stopped uh, really, really close, but uh, I could easily do one more wrap. So I'm stopping like one wrap shy. And I'm going to wrap that off there real tight. Trim it off. And then just finish that off with some black thread there. The next thing I'm going to add is there's little legs around the black head. The caddis always has a black head, green body usually, and um, to give the little leggy look of it, I'm going to add some micro UV polar chenille in black, 
and uh, just going to make a couple wraps around with this and it's going to give the leggy look that we're looking for so just come in you don't want real long legs they don't if you would look at the real bug um, this just adds some some legs to it real sparse just what it just what the real thing looks like and we're just going to trim that off and pull them legs back a little bit so I can wrap off right behind it and we'll whip finish and that is all that's to this very very simple little fly that I guarantee is going to catch a lot of fish. That mop action is just a killer. And like I say all the time, in around my area I have a ton of caddis. So caddis is a predominant, ca uh, predominant pattern that I fish a lot. So give this fly a try. Uh, I'm sure you'll like it and I'm sure it's going to catch a lot of fish this year. Um, the mops, we actually have the mops in tan, blue, pink green and I believe one other color so if you're looking for mops and you can't find them look us up at the shop wholesingersflyshop.com and all the other material you need to tie it get us at the shop thanks again for watching please take the time to subscribe to my channel comment if you'd like and uh, as always thanks again for watching I'm Sean Holsinger mm -hmm.